All right, so now we're going to take a look at exporting CAD data to Trimble Connect. Uh, it's important to understand, too, how the CAD data is created or generated inside a Trimble Business Center. I'm going to show you two different examples of some CAD data that I already have in Connect versus exporting it uh, with this particular data set. This particular data set and the CAD you see here came from a PDF file. So the PDF file was imported into Trimble Business Center. It was scaled appropriately. And then using the extraction tool, we extracted the data from the PDF into Business Center as CAD line work. And inside a Business Center, it's, it's simple CAD data, right? I mean, it's, you can see the text comes through as lines. It's not actually text. Um, the, you know, the line work is, is just a 2D line work. If you look at 3D view, you'll see it's just flat, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with that because, you know, maybe we're doing this for a takeoff or an estimate or we're going to convert it to 3D data inside of Trimble Business Center, which we have tools to, tools to do that with. But in this particular case, I just want to show you what this data looks like inside of Trimble Connect and how that data is different from in what I would say an original CAD file. So if you had a, the original DWG file and you imported that into Trimble Business Center and then exported it out in the same manner that I'm going to show you here, it looks and reacts differently inside of Connect. So uh, it's important to understand that so that when you're putting and assembling this data that you understand how it will look and how it will react depending on you know what you're trying to achieve. The export process is very similar to what we did with the LAN XML and the VCL. You go either, you can do it either in the plan tab or the 3D view tab, it doesn't matter. I'll go to export. This time, instead of the construction tab, I'm gonna to go to the CAD tab. I'm gonna click DWG. I'm gonna select the objects. So as you can see here, I can just do a window around the data that I want. I don't really need this text information. Um, I would then select the cloud and we would say this is, you know, CAD from PDF, right? Now, I've already done that and you can see that I already have it here, but I'm just going to go through this to show you. So I'm going to say CAD from PDF and just make it a different name than what I already have up here. I'm going to click save. I can control some of these other settings. So if I had an original DWG file, there might be blocks that I can explode. Um, I can export the line work as 2D polylines. So it all depends on whether you created the CAD data inside a business center, you imported the CAD data from a DWG or a DGN file uh, or GIS data, um, you know, from a shape file. And once it gets in the Trimble Business Center, you can export it out as a DWG or essentially CAD data. So I'm just going to go ahead and click export, let it export out. And then we're going to go to connect and take a look at it in the connect project. So that went to, if again, going back to explore, it's in the DWG folder. You can see that I've got some other DWGs in here. You'll notice when I brought in the, this AutoCAD file, I actually brought in three different drawings that were exported out that this was actually exported out of Civil 3D. So it created the model drawing and then the two layouts. So the layouts, if you're not familiar with Civil 3D or AutoCAD, the layouts are really the plan view of that particular drawing. So um, while this is you know processing, we'll take a look. If I click on, let's say, layout one, it opens it up inside of the you know, Trimble Connect tab in a 2D view. So you'll notice this basically is a page. It probably had a title block on it. Um, it's a layout tab and it's, you know, basically to scale. If I go back to the Explorer and we click on the model, you'll see the model in this particular case is the entire project without the layout tab. So the layout is just something this came from Civil 3D. So it, you're looking at it a little bit differently. Now you've got your zoom tools here where you can zoom in and take a look at it. And as you zoom closer, it'll, it'll uh, get better resolution. 
Now this isn't the same project that I've been exporting and working with, but just wanted to show you this DWG file being a little bit different because with the project we have, we, we really only got the PDF data and we didn't get the CAD file. Now here's the one we just exported. So if I click on that, again, you'll see it opens it up into this uh, 2D environment. It'll take a second to uh, display here, but there it is. So there's the project, there's the data. We've got markup tools. Again, we'll talk about these in, in a future chapter of this guide. Um, but if I go back to the Explorer, what I wanna show you is there's a couple things here, is if you click the checkbox this time, over on the right, you've got a couple different options. Under view in, you can view it in a CAD viewer, 3D viewer, or a 2D viewer. So we've been looking at it in the 2D viewer by clicking on in the name of the file and in that, that link there. But if we do it this way and I go to the 3D viewer, you'll see that it opens up a secondary tab, which is a 3D viewer. And from here I can select everything in the project or just the selected models. Now this is what I was talking about earlier is that notice the line work is what happens to it, right? It's just because of the way that it was exported from, extracted from the PDF into here. Now in the 3D view, I mean, it's, it's still visible, but probably not as usable as you would like it to be. So in this particular case, you know, because it came from the PDF, it's got this, this line thickness to it. And I haven't figured out, maybe there's a setting or something that I can control, but I haven't, haven't dove, dove into that um, yet to figure that out. Um, you can see that you can, you got some, you know, fit to view and everything. Now, if I go back, so let's close this and let's take a look at this one, right? So if I pick the model here, let's uncheck that and now go to view in the 3D viewer. So this is just a CAD file. This is a true CAD file. It wasn't generated from the PDF. You'll notice that this one, the line work is true line work, right? It's, it's not a kind of an object or a shape. So there might be, have, might be something we have to do in Business Center with that data from the PDF to get it down to um, this, uh, this type of data. And it might be converting it to line strings, which may help. So I'll dig into that a little bit and see if I, I can figure that out of, of what steps need to take to get the CAD file that we were working with into this format. Now there is one other a way to look at this data and, and it won't work with these two and as well. So I'm just gonna show it with this DWG file is there's also a CAD viewer. Again, we're gonna cover this in greater depth in a, a future chapter and video because this is its own section. You can see it's actually an embedded CAD viewer. It opens up another tab but this looks like CAD. I can, you know, roll my wheel in and zoom in on this data. I can actually select the objects. And when I select the objects, I can look at the properties, you know, of those objects. So if I was to pick on this, you can see that it shows me what layer it is, the name of it, you know, color, so on and so forth. Um, so there's some tools in here that you can actually use to view this this CAD data. So we're gonna look at this again in more depth in, a, in another chapter and in greater detail, all right? So again, that's just a secondary tab. So as you can see, you know, how you export the CAD data will make a difference. Um, I will put together a follow-up video on working with in Business Center of how to maybe convert this PDF data, this the CAD data that came from the PDF file so that it doesn't show up in the 3D view with the, you know, uh, with the, the way that it looks like this, right? With the, if I look at the 3D view again, to show you, I'll make, I'll go back and see if I can't get rid of this, the way that this is looking is kind of an extruded view, I guess that you would call it, right? So um, we'll see if there's a way to do it. But if you're just looking at it for 2D, it, it works, it works fairly well. You know, again, this is just an example. You may just use a PDF, may get the same results, right? So we can bring a PDF into here, uh, into Connect and look at it, and we'll show you how to do that as well.